on a young lady whose lord was traveling by Anne Killigrew. No sooner I pronounced Celinda's name, my troops of winged powers did chant the same. And those who poets abode in Eros land, that such as on the altar do attend. Celinda named flower spring up from the ground, excited merrily with the charming sound. Celinda the court's glory and its fear, the gaze did wonder where she does appear. Celinda great in birth, greater in mien, yet none so humble as this fair one seen. Her youth and beauty justly might disdain, but for least pride the glorious ne'er did stain. Celinda of each estate the ambitious strife, and once a noble virgin and wife who, while a gallant lord and foreign parts, adorns his youth of all accomplished arts, cross ripe at home on a virtue, more than years, and in each grace a miracle appears. Then other of her age, a man in gold, of parks and place, and every public show, proud from her parents' bondage they have broke, or justly freed, she still does worth a yoke. Preferring more her mother's friend to be, an isle of the town's loose gallantry. On her she to the temple does attain, where away their blessed hours both safe and spent. They smile, they joy, together they do pray, could think the bodies did one soul obey. Like angels thus they do reflect their bliss, and the bright virtues each the other kiss. Return, young lord, while war brought us Rome, the world to see, or loosest heaven at home.